Let's go to Nashville. Hey guys, it's Danny B. I'm out here in downtown Nashville, Tennessee today. It's the second annual Burnouts on Broadway. Now, two years ago, we were able to enjoy this in 2019. Unfortunately, though, due to COVID-19, they didn't have a champion ceremony for Chase Elliott and the other champions from last season. Now, this year, we realized two years ago, we didn't give anyone a good look at what all was happening here in downtown Nashville. Well, we're set up better this year. We want to go ahead and show you guys in video form what all took place tonight. This is Wednesday, the night where they're doing burnouts on Broadway. Now, tomorrow will be the actual ceremony where they crown Kyle Larson, the 2021 NASCAR Cup Series champion, and celebrate everything from last season. But tonight, we've got some special things. You see behind me, NASCAR Next Gen Race Cars. But tonight is the last time you're ever going to see the NASCAR Gen 6 race car in NASCAR history. There's no holding back this time. They have all the freedom in the world to burn these things to the ground and destroy those engines. They don't need them ever again after this. So it should be a good treat, and I hope you guys enjoy what you're going to see in this video. we got four wind stickers. One, two, three, four. Over here we have some of the NASCAR next gen cars as well as their street car counterparts. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say, wait, well, there two of everything. But yeah, so it's really to see how similar they are. Yeah. Like the grills look very, you know, the front of it, the noses look very similar. Almost the exact same thing just, right there. You know, rides a little lower, obviously. Yeah. No, what I'm really curious about is like these vents that are going to be on the front is how the logos look on the hoods. I know, especially like the Ford, I've seen part of it, and it looks like it's broken up. Yeah. Because you gotta cut out spaces for the vans. Yeah, it'll be I guess that's the proper word to call it. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see, like, you know, this design works perfectly, because you just have that, white. yeah, you just have that black area right there. But, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. And then, over there to my right is Corey LaJoy, people from NASCAR are filming content over there, so good to see them out and about now over there you can see nissan stadium home of the tennessee titans over here though this area is kind of too blank in my opinion now a couple years ago claudia if you remember they had all kinds of uh tracks set up over yeah, here promoting yeah. stuff it was some of those like 10 by 10 tents like promotional things like hey this is our date buy tickets yeah. you know renew your tickets if you had tickets last year giving away free things i know vegas gave out like little free promotional cars you know from yeah. a previous race they had left over but yeah, it's kind of surprising that there's not more promoting, you know, because the average person just walking around in Nashville could be like, oh, wait, there's a track at Nashville Super Speedway, you know, a little bit outside of downtown. And so it's like, oh, okay, so you realize how many tracks there are and whatnot. So I feel like that's a good promoting tool, but there's not that. So we'll just kind of... You know, we're NASCAR fans, so we'll enjoy anything we get. Yeah, but, yeah, kind of very blank over here. It's just an area for next-gen cars, and then the cars that were champions and playoff drivers in the Cup Series out that way. That's about all they have now. All right, time to make our way through Champions Alley, I guess you could call it. We start off right with Kyle Larson, number 5, HendrickCars.com, championship-winning Chevrolet. Now, that is something you don't see often, the big old riverboat coming through Nashville. Well, I guess you could see it fairly often. I think that's run fairly often, I guess. But that's pretty cool. So yeah, you've got all three of the main champions, Kyle Larson right there, Daniel Hemrick right there, and then Ben Rhodes is set up right over there. And look at that, they've actually got the championship flag on the back of Ben Rhodes' truck. That's pretty cool. And then over here, we've got the Arca Menard Series champion, Ty Gibbs. Uh, Ty Gibbs obviously won a lot in ARCA and in the Xfinity Series last year. Yeah. Uh, Claudia, we still haven't heard anything confirmed of what he's doing next year, though, have we? No. He's definitely going to be full-time. But Xfinity. in what series, though? I know. You're speculating too much. Yeah, I am. I hope he's at least full-time in Xfinity, but he I'm, I'm just be. surprised they haven't announced anything yet. I know. Maybe they're just holding out, you know. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of strange. Do you think that would be done deal, no-brainer kind of deal? Yeah, who knows why they're making this wait so long, but... 
Yeah, pretty cool. They didn't have the ARCA champion here a few years ago, but Ty Gibbs is definitely a marketable name. Now here is the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs grid. And I guess it's set up in the order of where they finished after Kyle Larson. So of course we've got Martin Truex Jr. and Denny Hamlin, the runner-ups. And there's old fourth place Elliott this year, unfortunately. But hey, he did better than my guy, so. Yes, he did. My guy got more wins, but. It is what it is. But they've got the hood up on there. Probably just doing a few little technical things to it. Nothing as big as like what they would do on race day. Got Kevin Harvick rocking the Bush Light car. Now he had a Hunt Brothers Pizza car set up on the other side of downtown Nashville. But uh, this is one of his main sponsors. It makes sense for him to have this car here today. Think about this. The last time you're ever going to see the number two with Brad Keselowski's name on it. And probably that big Yes, and probably that paint scheme. It's gonna look more like that car right there. Menards is hopping on for a lot of races with Austin Cindric next year. But there's Ryan Blaney, but yeah. Got all the Penske boys here together because that's where they finished. But uh, yeah, last time you're ever gonna see Brad Keselowski in the number two. So there's more of the Penske guys. You have Joey Logano's crew set up. Now he only got one win this year is at Dirt Bristol. So tonight he's been doing the burnouts on Broadway. Technically he didn't do a burnout last year. He did more donuts in the dust, so. Joey Logano's crew was getting set up to do burnouts here in Nashville today. Coming out here towards the back, look at the way the colors pop in person on this 24 Exalta Chevrolet of William Byron. A little matte black on the car, but then those colors really do stand out. Wow, that's okay, careful, no touching. Sorry. I'm kidding. No, I guess I'm just amazed because I've never really like seen things. Like, they actually paint the car. Yeah, I think that's part of the agreement with Exalta. I think they probably use Exalta paints, I would imagine. I mean, I hope. Probably probably they painted a base color and then just put decals on top. Yeah, now, now this is a decal, I can tell. I'm just surprised this isn't painted, honestly. Yeah. But maybe that's too difficult. I don't know. It pops really good. I know that. You know, Maybe they have some kind of Exalta printing servers. I don't know. You know, it's funny. When I saw the rendering of this car, I hated it. It, was, it didn't look like it was going to work out good because we were so used to the flames at that point. But this is honestly like one of my favorite. It became one of my favorite. It became truly William Byron's own paint scheme, yeah, I think. That kind of flame Jeff Gordon looks like. Then you got Kyle Busch as well as brother Kurt Busch. Now Chip Ganassi Racing has clothes. I don't know if Trackhouse Racing necessarily built this car and prepared for him. I would, I mean, I would imagine, but uh, oh, this is kind of a unique thing. Look on the front of Kurt Busch's car. There's a little monster energy thing right on the grill right there. All right, now we're starting to get here towards the back. These are the guys kind of finished later in the points now. Uh, you see Christopher Bell here. You see Eric Umrol. You see Tyler Reddick. You see Michael McDowell, but sadly, even with four wins, this shows the inconsistency of Bowman this year. He's back here. Uh, in 14th in the standings, unfortunately. If they could have the consistency of 2020, but the wins of 2021, that'd be a good season. Yes, it would. But it's a lot to hope for. We have been having a blast here in Nashville today. Now, we did get the chance to talk with one driver this week. We got to talk with Tyler Reddick. Now, of course, you've seen Tyler Reddick on this channel before over on the NASCAR Weekly Podcast. So what did Tyler Reddick have to say about his time here in Nashville? Let's head on over to the Ryman and talk with Tyler Reddick there. Hey, guys. Welcome Tyler Reddick to the video here. So, Tyler, I'm showcasing to everyone what's happening here in Nashville. And obviously, 
you were here in Nashville two years ago being crowned the Xfinity Series champion. Now you're back. Uh, what's your thoughts here uh, for this year's celebrations? I think it's great. Um, I'm personally uh, extremely busy, so I may not be able to catch everything that's going on, but, but that just speaks to how much they have going on here for the NASCAR Awards this year in Nashville. Um, it being here is a great thing, you know, there was a lot of excitement about NASCAR coming back and getting to the Super Speedway, a lot of excitement about Nashville Fairgrounds, so I think it's a perfect place to have, um, to have, you know, the awards, and when you think about, you know, the history of, of short track racing, dirt track racing, um, there's a lot of great drivers and a lot of history in, you know, in the heart of Tennessee, so I think no better place than Nashville. Um, great to come here, you know, the, the country music scene, the the NASCAR scene, um, you know, blend together a little bit, and uh, I think it's a great place to, to have the awards. All right, last question here, and I'll let you get going because I know you're a pretty busy guy. Now, I was taking a look at those cars down there. You're rocking the Cheddar's colors. I like those colors down there. They don't need those Gen 6s anymore, and you haven't had a chance to do a burnout in the Cup Series car yet. So have you thought about it? Do you have any special plan? I saw there was a second seat in there. Who's joining you? Uh, I don't I don't know if it's supposed to be a surprise or not who's joining me, so if it is, I won't ruin it. I wish I could tell you. Um, maybe I can, I don't know right now, so I don't want to screw it up. The but video comes out after today. So yeah, I'm oh, okay. Uh, um, but yeah, I know. Uh, it's funny you say that because I woke up this morning getting ready to fly out here, and I was like, I got to do a burnout in a Gen 6 Cup car. Um, so this will be my first time doing it. And as far as I know, this is probably the last time we use this show car, so, you know, I might have a little bit more fun than I should in it. Well, Tyler, hey, have fun, like you said, and enjoy Nashville. It's, it's where I call hometown, so hope you enjoy. Hope everyone's treating you well here. Yep, thank you. All right, as much fun as we've been having here in Nashville today, uh, as you can see behind me, reminder, we've got a track here in Nashville. It's out in Lebanon called Nashville Super Speedway. And, of course, I'm rocking my Ally hat here. Well, that's where they run the Ally 400 this year. I had a chance to sit down and talk with Nashville Super Speedway President Eric Moses this week, and he chatted about his thoughts of everything going on this weekend and the future of Nashville Super Speedway. Let's go check out what he had to say. All right, first of all, how you been? Good, good. Happy to have just uh, been able to spend some time with family, you know, over the Thanksgiving holiday and uh, excited about our entire industry coming here to, to Nashville to celebrate our 2021 season. Absolutely. Uh, I had a great Thanksgiving as well, as I'm sure you did. A lot of people enjoying the off season a little bit here, but now we get to kind of refresh and, uh, well, the Titans get a bye week, but now it's, it's NASCAR's turn. They're taking over Nashville this week. It's all about Kyle Larson, the 2021 NASCAR Cup Series champion. And I want to ask you this. He won at your track, and I, along with a lot of other people, probably thought that that race was what sent him off into knowing he's got a chance to go out and win a championship. So how does it feel that the guy that won at your opening race uh, went on to win a championship that season? Look, I, I try not to uh, to pull for any particular drivers. I, I, I want really good races because I think that helps our entire sport. But I'd be lying if I didn't say that I had a, a certain kind of satisfaction at knowing that the Ally 400 inaugural race uh, winner is also our 21 champion, cup champion. So uh, congratulations to Kyle. He's a great guy, fantastic driver, and you're right. His dominance in our race uh, really did make, I think, everybody scratch their head and go, is anybody else going to be able to win this this season? And so uh, he had a really great season and, and uh, just really happy that, uh, that he was able to become, become the champ. So uh, speaking of this championship, have you got a good seat picked out to check out some of the uh, championship celebrations this week? Burnouts on Broadway, you know where your spot's going to be for that. Like, what are you looking forward to most of that? Really all of it, because as you know, I wasn't here in 2019 uh, when this happened. And so this will be my first Champions Week celebration as a member of the, uh, of, of the industry. So I'm really just looking forward to having the entire industry here in our backyard and being able to celebrate not only our 21 season, but to celebrate, frankly, you know, Nas Nashville Super Speedway coming back and uh, in a big way. And so I'm, I'm really excited about that. I will be at burnout. I will be at as many of the other events as I can get to. Uh, but as you can imagine, we're, we're all running around trying to figure out how to meet with stakeholders and sponsors and, and others while everyone is here in, in, in your backyard. So it'll be a, a, an interesting three days. I'll probably need a probably need a break after uh, after Thursday. <laughs> well, we got Christmas coming up, so you're going to get that break coming up here sooner, sooner rather than later. Uh, so I do want to ask this. 2021 season is over, and thus that was the last season of the Gen 6 race car. Next year brings on a lot of new things, including NASCAR Next Gen for the Cup Series. So 
first of all, let me get some thoughts. What are your thoughts on the new car? Are you looking forward to seeing it at Nashville Super Speedway? Can we expect maybe a test in the coming months there? What what, what are you looking forward to most? Yeah, not, not sure about a test, but would love to have one here. Really excited about the next gen car. Uh, innovation is something that I think that will help to continue to grow our fan base and to propel our sport forward. Uh, some of the innovations that are being brought to the to the car uh, of the next generation, the Gen 7 car is going to be great. You know, the in-car cameras for, for all of the cars, the composite bodies, uh, I think are going to be great. It'll be interesting to see uh, at, at the LA Coliseum for the Clash, it'll be interesting to see uh, those cars and those composite bodies uh, smashing up against each other mm -hmm. and rubbing a little bit on that on that quarter mile track uh, in the Coliseum. And so I'm excited, man. I, I think, um, you know, in some ways, these kinds of innovations level the playing field because right? mm -hmm. the car is going to be new to everybody and all the teams and getting your setup right at the different tracks and everything, I think will kind of bring everyone back to kind of the same the same level playing field. And then we'll see who, who figures it out first and, and best. So I, I'm super excited about it. And uh, I think uh, our fan base is excited as well. It's funny you mentioned the L.A. Coliseum. Now, I hadn't been I haven't been to a race since uh, Michigan. That was quite a few weeks ago now at this point but uh i am going to be going to the la coliseum for bush clash and i want to ask uh, i ran into you at a race i ran into you at srx at nashville fairgrounds am i going to run into you at that short track are you planning to be out there i will be there i hope we run into each other but uh 100,000 seats and i'm sure a whole lot of people there mm -hmm. it, it may be hard for us to fight each other so we may have to be more intentional about seeing each other out there but but yeah i'm definitely planning to be out there wouldn't miss it for the world Excellent. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Now, I do want to get into this. Uh, speaking of short tracks, you know, there's been a lot of more news and, and it's appropriate. We're here in NASCAR's here in Nashville. So I often got to ask this, you know, this article come out from the Tennessee in today stating that Mayor Cooper is, seems to be 100 percent all in with the folks at SMI who are now, uh, as of next year, going to be uh, the ownership party of Nashville Super Speedway. What do you know as the Super Speedway president for this situation? Well, I certainly don't know anything other than what I read in the newspapers about the, the situation and the status of the deal with the city uh, and SMI over, over the fairground speedway. Uh, I'm excited, like other NASCAR fans are, to have more NASCAR racing in our market. And so, yes, as you know, while while the deal is uh, is not yet closed, um, looking forward to being part of the SMI family and uh, and having more and more racing and being able to bring that to the best fans in the country. I'm excited to be part of what I will call NASCAR's best fan base here in Nashville because. Almost all weeks, I noticed Nashville is right up there in the top of the uh, demographics of people watching the races. We've got a lot of racing opportunities here now, and you know it's it's clear that Nashville loves NASCAR. We didn't have it a few years ago, but now we got it everywhere you look over here. So uh, I'm excited to, for everyone coming here as a, as a fan here in the Nashville area. But Eric, thanks for your time here, and uh, hope you're looking forward to everything going on with the uh, award ceremony here in Nashville this week and. Uh, can people expect to see you out anywhere anytime soon? Oh yeah, I'll be out and about during during this week. Um, we're going to do a special presentation to, to Kyle Busch for the media. Uh, as you know, he won his 100th Xfinity uh, Series race here at our place uh, this past June. And so we're going to do a special presentation to him. Uh, and I will be out and about uh, all week, making certain that folks know that the Super Speedway is, is back. We're going into our second year of a triple header weekend, and they should uh, take full advantage of that um, as we continue to transform Music City into Motorsports City. Well, I will certainly be on the lookout for that. I'll have my cameras rolling, microphone ready, and uh, if I see you out there, I'll have to get a word in public. Absolutely, man. Look forward to it. All right. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. All right, now before we get you guys over to burnouts on Broadway, I just want to say thanks so much for watching this video. We're going to end it with the burnouts here in Nashville. So if you've been waiting around for that till the very end, I appreciate you watching the rest of this video now. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And be sure to hit subscribe to Danny B Talks and never miss future uploads on this channel. And hey, to my Danny B Super fans, thank you so much for your constant contributions to the channel. Your membership does not go unappreciated here on the channel. And until next time, have a great day. Enjoy the burnouts. Bye, guys. We're outside Tootsie's right now. There is a covered car right here. And we've got track house people. There's Justin Marks. It's like the owner of Tootsie's is here. So what can this possibly mean?
You gonna see a car unveiling? Here we go. Oh, he gave us a sneak peek. Look at that. Gripping up 
footprint now. I, I don't know what's happening out there.
going to have a full of rain at first and it was a misery to get No, we stood. Oh, you take it? Hey, yeah, we're actually doing video. Oh, hi. <laughs> this is our friend. What's up? <laughs> up. Forgot my Napa jacket. Hey, since you're here, what did yeah. you guys think? Awesome. Loved it. Who, uh, who was your favorite? Because we kind of like Harvey folks. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. I loved Larson having the steering wheel out, out the of window. the car. Yeah. Was it cheating that, that his dad was doing it though? Yeah. Oh, was it cheating? <laughs> I think it's a pretty cool nod to his dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought Kurt Busch was pretty good. All right, yeah. Harvick put on a good show. I, think yeah. I thought Byron was underrated. When he gave it that second go, I thought uh, he was a lot better than I actually three. stopped filming on that one because I thought he was done. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think he meant now. All right. Now we're back in the car. Take two. Glad you got to meet our friends there. Uh, welcome back. Had a great conversation with CBS Sports' Stephen Toronto. Always happy to hear from him. He's one of my favorite guys in the media. Uh, pull up in NASCAR and he also does cover some NFL so pretty good guy if uh, you want to look into someone to uh, look what well, yeah can you talk if you want to look into someone to follow and read articles from CBS Sports check out Steven's work there but Claudia what was your thoughts tonight uh, was it safe to say that Kevin Harvick won that I think it was so cool like he just like burned it out tires blew out casually walked off like I hope somebody got a shot that was at the end of him just walking in the car in the background smoke. Mm -hmm. Just a cool shot. But my right ear is, oh my goodness, it's Her sore. ears are hurting and my throat is hurting because to talk or even communicate, you had to yell because there's a lot of loud, uh, not only the people, but the it car It was mainly the, the music. Like, you know, the music, they yeah. were playing a loud music. And so to talk to, you know, people, we were just like yelling, hey, so what did you think about, you know, and it was, <laughs> it was too much. But I uh, hope the Karens enjoyed the show. I hope they got a, a chance to see the uh, the F1 cars out here tonight. Uh, but, no, nah, I'm teasing because the Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway sounds like it's moving forward with renovations. Yeah. But, uh, Yay for I, us. I had a great time. We love having more and more NASCAR here in Nashville. Didn't get to experience this last year, but this makes up for, uh, you know, not having it last year, unfortunately. For a guy that didn't get to be hmm. having his uh, championship point. Hey. But hey, it's whatever. Uh, your guy still did good this year. Better than the hack did, even though he got four wins. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, as always, be sure to hit subscribe. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Drop a comment down below. And as always, to my Danny B Super fans, I do appreciate your monthly support. Your contributions do not go without gratitude here. So appreciate everything. 
And as always, we hope you guys have a great day. Bye guys. Bye guys. Hey race fans, thanks for watching this video from Danny B Talks. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another video from my channel.